everyone. I'm Father Tom Weisbecker, pastor of St. James here, and I come to before you today to uh, give you our latest parish community uplift update. I want to start off by wishing everyone a very merry and uh, holy Christmas and a happy new year. It's a wonderful time of the year, and you know, it's, it's thank you for being members of our parish, and hopefully we can all celebrate together this most profound and wonderful mystery. We're less, less than a, w a week away from, from Christmas, and, and uh, you know, a lot is going on in our parish. And firstly, I'd like to just uh, rather topical and timely, is tonight is our uh, annual Advent reconciliation service. We will have nine, we have nine priests who have signed up, and so we encourage people to come and repent of their sins and get ready for Christmas in the right way. And uh, just with the weather like it's going to be in the next few days, it's, this would be a great way to get uh, your reconciliation done. So er hopefully everyone has received my Christmas letter and the little pamphlet that had the times for confessions and mass, masses during the next 12 days. If not, you can go to our website and catch up there. And we want everyone to come and celebrate with us. This is, a, this is the time of year when you really want to get together and have a little fun. Christmas masses are Saturday, Christmas Eve at 4, 4.05, 6, and midnight. And then Christmas Day is at 8 and 10.30 in the morning. We also encourage everyone, if possible, uh, to give a generous donation to our parish, a sign of love of Christ. And, in the celebration of the mystery of the incarnation and as a year-end donation. Also, I'd like to thank everyone for their generous donations throughout this past year. And just as a note too, there, we still have uh, calendars available for the next year that are you know, religious calendars, so we encourage each family to have one of those. And we have a, a few New Year's resolutions going on, the New Year's initiatives. The Parish Council is inviting everyone to bless their home on this upcoming Feast of the Epiphany, January 8th. That's a Sunday, that's uh, two weeks from Christmas. This is a tradition that goes back to the early church and there's, uh, it's a great way to get your house blessed. We will be passing out packets with holy water, with blessed chalk, and an instruction sheet on how to do it. And we'll be doing, sending, get, having those available next week's ahead. You know, it's in these crazy times we live in, it's, it's really nice to have our homes be blessed. We also want to follow our American bishop's initiative uh, to foster the, the wonder of the Holy Eucharist. They've, this last July, they started a, a, a national Eucharistic revival and are aiming for a national Eucharistic Congress in July of 2024, not this coming year, but the year after. We want to encourage all of our St. James parishioners to grow more deeply in love with Jesus and the Holy Eucharist, and obviously by coming to Mass every week, but also by having a whole hour, holy hour of adoration. It's a great way to get to, to have a deep, personal, intimate relationship with Jesus. You know, there's, uh, we will have more information coming out in the months ahead. This, uh, we want to keep growing. We will have other activities so that we can foster our Eucharistic devotion. Our Parish Center renovation project is continuing and moving forward. We'll be having very spe various special uh, social events starting in January where everyone's invited to come. Let's uh, have a party, mingle, uh, eat, drink, and learn details about the renovations. It's a great uh, informal way of getting to know what's going on. Again, more details will be coming in the future. You know, we've talked about the future of our archdiocese and these, uh, the plans to combine parishes into families. You know, there's a shortage of priests, and the, the archbishop is trying to look ahead for, you know, what do we do and how do we, how do we move forward as an archdiocese. So the plan is for us in St. Elizabeth Ann to be, form a parish family, which, you know, we basically in many ways already are. And so we'll be still be independent parishes. With each of our, we'll have we'll each have our own pastor, um, but uh, we will there'll be uh, we have to be there more for each other, help each other out, and you know there will be a big change for us, but it will be somewhat different, mostly in the little details and in in the future. 
we'll see how all this works out in the future. The Archbishop has actually approved our, our plans as we move forward. So it's just a matter of uh, the details of how we can work together. We'll, we'll be talking more about that. The Archdiocese Annual Appeal is still going on. Our goal this year is just under $108,000. We are currently um, past 84,000, so we're uh, about 78% of our goal. Obviously, there's still time for everyone to give, and we invite everyone to, who hasn't given to prayerfully consider doing so. And thanks to all who have already given. I you know, appreciate that, and may God bless you and reward you. We are planning on doing the Live Lent together again this year. It was a great success this past year. We in St. James here actually had one of the largest turnouts in the Archdiocese. We had over 130 people in our small groups. Uh, we look forward to doing it again this coming Lent, so more details coming. The St. James Seton uh, School Sword Dinner was a huge success this year, and it made over $118,000 for the school. I want to thank, in particular, Tiffany Howard, who is the one who, our assistant principal, who is the one who coordinates all this. And my goodness, she's uh, she put in an awful lot of work on that, and appreciate that. I also like to give thanks to all the sponsors and also the people who came to it, and all who bid and who, and and uh, won different articles uh, there. I, you know, I had a great time. It was a fun evening. I also just, as far as gratitude, thank Jill Krakenmeyer for doing such a great job running our junior high and senior high youth groups. They are beginning to grow and prosper, and we we hope that our youth can get more and more involved in the youth groups. I'd also like to thank all those who had their pictures taken for our uh, 2023 Parish Family Directory. It's uh, we're we're in the printing process now, so it's uh, hopefully we'll be they'll be coming out here in in February, the printed edition. So I look forward to passing those out. A couple of upcoming events in January, just to maybe put on the calendar, 55 and Alive is on January 21st, and the Catholic Daughters Trivia Night is on January 28th. To conclude, I'd like to thank you for tuning in today and thank all of you for what you do for St. James and being good parishioners for us. I again wish all a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous new year. I pray that the baby Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. James be with us so we continue our journey to salvation. God bless everybody. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go in peace. <laughs>